Hi everyone. So today I've come up with part two of our previous discussion, which was about cross bites. And today I'll be discussing about the treatment part of anterior cross bite. So I hope you remember what anterior cross bite is. That is wherein the front teeth are the other way around. That means the upper front teeth are behind the lower front teeth. Now let's start with the treatment. So Okay, the first in this category is the tongue blade or the popsicle stick therapy. Now, this popsicle stick therapy or the tongue blade treatment is to be done in the earlier stage. Of course, it's the simplest because you can see it just involves one popsicle stick. And this needs to be done uh, for 15 to 20, 30 minutes gradually. Like you can start with 10 minutes, then graduate up to 12 minutes, 30 minutes like so. And then, so 15 to 30 minutes of increments at a time for at least several hours of engagement. So duration is a very important factor and the technique with which you are uh, leveraging your teeth that is in cross bite. So for that, what you have to do is you have to place the popsicle stick like so in the photograph. That means you have to use uh, the back of the um, teeth and you have to push it in front with the help of popsicle stick. But... The point of leverage has to be, as you can see, the edge of the lower front teeth. Okay, so this has to be done for several hours of the day. As it's shown, I hope it's clear. Okay, then the results, yes, is usually attained really quickly. But the condition is... Uh, the tooth has to not to be completely erupted. Okay, I'll come to it later. But before that, we need to understand that the results that you'll be getting depends upon the frequency with which you are using the tongue blade, the duration for which you are placing the tongue blade and you're using it, and the accuracy with which the child uses the leverage stick because the accuracy is the most important thing when even when you're frequently using it as advised by your dentist and the duration also is being followed by you but the accuracy that means you're not placing the stick and you're not moving it accurately then the results will not be attained then the advantage yes the advantage is it's very inexpensive and the second thing is the time involved with appliance therapy it's really quick as i told you it uh, is really uh, the correction is very quickly attained if you're doing it as advised by your dentist but the result are unlikely if the tooth that is in cross bite does not have sufficient space to come out number one and second when the tooth is completely erupted and then it is in i mean it's completely erupted and it is in cross bite so in that case it's uh, very unlikely that the tooth is going to be corrected with the help of tongue blade then other than the tongue blade there's something else too that is used for the correction of anterior cross bite and that is lower inclined plane now as the name suggests you have an inclined plane that is inclining downwards in the front right lower that means it is attached it is cemented to your lower front teeth and because of that inclined plane it is making that slide path for the tooth that is in cross bite so for that we need to understand that this lower inclined plane has to be worn for one week you're supposed to come back to your dentist for follow-up if it's not corrected after one week he or she will tell you to continue it for one more week but in any which way if it's not being corrected in two weeks it has to be discontinued or otherwise you will have a situation that you can see on the screen the situation is called as open bite uh, i've discussed about open bite in detail uh, when i was discussing about thumb sucking i'll put the uh, link in the description you can check that video too so what happens is, uh, obviously, when you have that uh, lower inclined plane cemented in your mouth, it creates a gap between your back teeth. Now, when there's a gap between the back teeth, the back teeth have that tendency of erupting, right? Now, when they start erupting, that means you have left the gap for more than two weeks, right? You have the appliance for more than two weeks in your mouth. 
then in that case the lower and the upper back teeth they will have the tendency of erupting to fill up the gap now when that uh, when those back teeth erupt obviously the front teeth will have gap and you will have the open bite situation apart from that there are certain advantages too and the advantage is yes the simplicity of action of course the rapid correction time as you can see the correction can take place as early as in just two weeks and also it can be used in situations wherein the tooth is not in complete eruption that means it is yet to erupt completely so in the and you are seeing that it is erupting in cross bite situation then in that case i mean your uh, dentist has diagnosed that it has not yet erupted and it is erupting in the cross bite situation then in that case one can incorporate a inclined uh, one can incorporate an inclined plane but with that there are certain disadvantages also and that is the discomfort because as i told you the lower inclined plane is cemented so that means there is a gap 24 7 in between your teeth the second thing is gum irritation because it is cemented obviously it's going to reach your gum also and it's very difficult to clean that area of gums and it's ultimately going to irritate it also no matter how uh, uh, tedious you are in keeping your gums clean then the second uh, the third is uh, there are chances of traumatic injury also suppose a child falls on chin so that's going to hit the teeth okay though rare but yes it does exist and there is this chance of trauma then there is a third kind of appliance that is called a palatal spring appliance now it can be of the fixed and the removable types also so as you can see this palatal spring appliance that means it's a spring sort of a structure it's even called as a z spring it's called palatal spring because it's placed against the palate now it's pushing the involved tooth in cross bite outwards okay now the spring is activated such that it opens up it creates a pushing force and the tooth that is in cross bite is pushed outwards and of course the tooth gets corrected now the correction time varies between 6 to 12 weeks depending upon the extent of cross bite as i told you it can it can either be of the fixed variety or the removable variety the one you can see on the screen on your right hand side is the removable one needs to be activated by a dentist weekly or like so it depends upon how frequently your dentist is calling you and it can also be a fixed variety in that case as you can see it's fixed fixed in the sense you cannot remove it your dentist can remove it unlike the removable one which can be removed by the patient itself for cleaning and while eating how it has to be removed how it has to be taken care of i mean the plate how the plate has to be taken care of all of it is explained by the doctor by your dentist and you have to do like so so this is the most effective one it can be used um, even when the tooth is completely erupted right and it can be used in cases wherein not just one but more number of teeth are involved so these are all its advantages uh, that's it for now i'll uh, come up uh, with more video as part three with regards to crossbite and hopefully we'll will be covering posterior crossbite this time uh, if you have not understood anything or you have any doubt you can let me know in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you till then take care thank you